So if you're getting this error uh, in iMovie when you're trying to export your video for YouTube or just to export for you know MP4 on your on your hard drive, the request CVP pixel buffer for frame returned and all that number information. The solution is you take that n number. In my case, it was um, three for absolute frame semicolon three two one six, and you take that number and you divide that by the frame rate what you filmed at. And I knew because it was on my iPhone, so I knew it was at 64K at 60 uh, frames per second. So I divided that number 3216 by 60 and I got 53.6 um, uh, seconds. So at the 53 second mark, that clip was corrupt. So I don't think it's really corrupt. I think it's a deeper problem, which I won't get into right now about the drive, the Lacey drive. I could have probably saved it. I could have screen recorded it because it works fine in iMovie or in uh, QuickTime. I could have screen recorded it and tricked it that way. I didn't really need it in this particular video. So I just deleted it. I re-exported. You'll see I do some other things first, but that worked. So uh, basically, you know, taking that number, that frame rate number that the error gives you, divide it by the frame rate per second. In my case, it was 60. It'll tell you where the problem is. Delete that clip or screen record that clip and then delete it and re-add it that way or take it from your external lacy drive because that's the problem with lacy drive sometimes put it on your hard drive and then re-import it then it should work those are some of the tricks anyway full detail on the video here hope it helps you take care all right so i'm getting this error and very irritating i figured it has to do with corrupt uh clip somewhere because it i can see that it um, exports to a certain point in the video every time and then it just fails out and the uh exact error message that you get is this one error request cvp pixel buffer for frame returned three for absolute frame three two one six so I did a little research and i think i figured out what it is let's see if it works and maybe this will help you hopefully all right so on this uh apple discussion forum i think i found the answer um it's kind of like what i thought but the error means there's some kind of corruption at frame number, blah, 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 blah. The correction, the correction is to expand your timeline full, scroll out the frame number, blah, 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 and vicinity and cut out the corrupt frame. To locate, to locate frame number, blah, 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 in seconds in the timeline, divide that number by the frame rate of the project. So um, in my case, it was uh, 3216. And it's at 60 frames per second. 3, 2, 1, 6, divided by 60. And that's uh, 53 seconds and some change, 53.6. And that's about, I figured it was right around here because it, it, it exports to about here and then it stops. So it might be this clip right here. So what I could try is just actually, as a first try, I'm just going to get rid of this and see if that's actually the corrupt uh, the corrupt frame there's a lot of wind maybe something I, I don't know let's just delete that because I don't really need this in this uh, uh, little video the main thing is that the swans are back and I uh, you know that starts about right about here so hopefully it's not this clip that's corrupt but even as such it's not at 53 seconds so that's kind of interesting Okay, so let's now try to um, export this again up here under share, export, and uh, 4K. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I like to put in description all that just for uh, SEO. Now, whether that actually stays when it gets into YouTube, I'm not sure, but I, I imagine it does at some level, or at least it could. So let's download this again and see what happens. See, it starts with the progress up here. You'll see it progresses, hopefully. But you see all the downloads in here uh, every time. So this is a new one starting right now. And these right here, you'll see it would it would get right up to would get right up to um, 153, right at the clip, right. 
See, it seems to go dark right when I started walking. And, but it might be the next clip that needs to go. That's hopefully not the case, but we'll see. So this will take some time. I'm going to cut out. and now It doesn't take that long, but it will take about you know five or ten minutes. So let's just uh, stop the video now. Okay, well, that didn't work. Um, so I'm going to have to go to, you know, 53 is right about here, 53 seconds. Um, so this entire clip might need to go. Um, so let's just see what happens if we just remove the entire clip there. Okay, so we'll do this process again here. A different name, see if that might. It worked. So actually, the whole thing was at 53 seconds, just like that formula uh, told us. You know, you divide your uh, absolute frame rate that the error gives, 3216, by 60 frames per second. In this case, for me, maybe you're filming at 30. Um, frames per second, a lot of people do. Just got to check what the what the clip was filmed at. I checked on my iPhone, and uh, it worked. So now I uh, I can show you here. I got the entire. It's nice. I had the entire clip. This is cool. Sound is working. Of course, it's minus the ones I I cut out, but it got most importantly the main part, which was. The swan's walking down the street and entering the water here. And it's got the end and everything, the outro. So, yeah, pretty cool rainbow, huh? Yeah, so that's it. Hope this helps you. And, uh, yeah, if you liked it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Have a great day.